My mom's message, you are not, took the same pattern as my dad's, you can't. When my dad told me you can't, it was always followed by an idea I had. I want to take a solo backpacking trip. You can't do that, my dad said, right? With my mom, you know, I want to take a solo backpacking trip. You are not going to do that. You know, each time what they did was attack my ideas and my, and criticize my wants or my desires or my interests. My dad with you can't, causing me to be helpless. My mom saying you are not. It was more easily for me to understand the effect of my dad's message, you can't. It's an enforced helplessness or a taught or learned helplessness. I had to have a spiritual director's help to understand my mom's message, you are not. When I was talking to him, I kept telling him what my mom would say to me. You are not going to buy a car. You are not going to take that job. You are not going to take a solo backpacking trip, whatever it was, you were not, followed by some activity that I wanted to do. And my spiritual director, he told me, drop the last part of the sentence. And I didn't understand what he was saying at first. And he said, just focus on the first three words. And so I repeated what my mom said, only using the first three words and dropping the activity. It became, you are not, you are not, you are not. In some ways, it's more insidious than my dad's message, you can't, because the effects of you are not are a little more invisible. And yet in many ways, they're probably much more powerful. When I wanted to do something, right, I was defining myself. I was taking authority for my life. My mom's message, you are not, was denying who I was. It was really an attack on my identity. So you are not became, I am not. I am not going to take a solo backpacking trip. I'm not going to take a long bicycle ride. These are examples. I don't know if they're historically correct, but, but that's, that's the essence of the impact of my mother's message or not in her denying, really, who I was as a person. It, it's a terrible message to give to a child. A child needs to develop his identity. He needs to figure out who he is. And my mom's message, or not, made it impossible for me to do that. Years later, I had a conversation with my aunt. We're talking decades later. And she said, I don't think Joyce, this is my Aunt Judy, her sister Joyce, my mom, Joyce, I don't think Joyce gave you freedom to figure out who you are. And my aunt was right. If you think we should speak up about abuse, please subscribe to my channel. If you think my stories will help someone, please like, comment, and share this video.